students at, in the same lab would also be collecting data on blood gases and um, how uh, the uh, breathing into a bag and the accumulation of carbon dioxide uh, will impact one's breathing cycles and the uh, volume of air uh, in tidal volume as well as the frequency of breaths. Um, we call that minute ventilation when those two parameters are combined. And so the way the, way the students would do it is they'd have the same contraption as before. We've got the airflow meter, uh, bacterial filter, air, uh, mouthpiece, um, but as you'll notice now, uh, it is not leading to the outside atmosphere, rather it is leading into a white garbage bag uh, that I have sealed at the end um, and sealed at the other end with tape. And so I'm going to be breathing into this bag, um, not just breathing into it, but also re-inhaling, uh, if that's a word, uh, the air um, from the bag. And so carbon dioxide will begin to build up uh, not only in my lungs, but also in, in my blood, uh, and you will begin to see what happens when that, um, when that occurs. Now, um, most of the time we aren't breathing through bags, and so this is a, an, an experiment to show um, not really what happens when you breathe into a bag, um, although sometimes when you hyperventilate, this is you know, what the treatment is, um, but, uh, but when you're exercising, uh, and you have a buildup of carbon dioxide as a result of uh, the physical activity that you're doing. Um, obviously, when you exercise, you're going to start breathing more rapidly and, and more deeply. And so that's what this experiment is trying to model. Okay, so um, it's going to take a while for us to see uh, effects because I've actually inflated this bag pretty well. There's a lot of fresh air in there, uh, so it's going to take me a while um, to see results. Um, but uh, so I will speed up the video, uh, at least that portion, so that you can more readily see um, how my breathing has changed over time. <sighs> Here it goes. All right, so I'm a little out of breath now, uh, but I uh, wanted to, it was kind of hard for you to see probably um, how that bag was moving in and out with my, bra my breathing, um, but uh, I'm out of breath now because I've got to get rid of that extra carbon dioxide that's been building up in my blood, and I'll be okay in a few minutes. Um, no one has ever uh, passed out during this, uh, this activity, and it would be pretty hard to do. Your body uh, is... Um, you know, wired so that you would uh, stop brag breathing and, and breathe normally um, before you pass out. 